G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a look at the Ferrant OS theme layout and config saver. So first of all we're going to go to Thema and change our theme. As you can see currently we are on the Ferrant OS light default as you can see there. So what we're going to do is first of all change our layout. So I'm going to choose a Windows 10. Now if you don't have, if it's not showing a display there like so, just click on that and download it and it will install. So first of all I'm going to choose Windows 10 dark and we're going to change that. Now that's changed. Now I've added I think one or two things to this panel. So let's take a look at the panel. What I've added here is the Show Desktop++ plus plus, which is in this corner, which acts exactly like the corner one does in Windows 10, which I sometimes quite find very handy indeed. So if you've got all your open windows there and we go to there, it'll just give you a a quick shot of that without clicking it and if you want to make it more permanent just click it and, and it's done so now uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to make some changes to this desktop configuration and see and then we're going to save it so what I'm going to do first of all is add a panel we'll add one to the top now for the purpose of this video I'm going to remove the calendar from here. Um, I'm going to remove notifications as well. We'll just keep it like that. And up the top here we shall add some applets. So we'll add the calendar up to the top. Add panel. Expo will add. And this is for the purpose of the video. And scale. I'll add that as well. Now what we'll do, close that, go to panel edit mode, move your clock, well I'm going to move the clock to the left there, and I will leave the scale and expo where they are. So turn off panel edit mode. The other thing we can do is open up a couple of things, say terminal, uh, right click and pin that to the panel. You can probably add to the panel from here anyway, so we'll add to the panel. Text editor. Uh, didn't seem to add to the panel, so we'll actually open it up and pin to the panel. And also anything else we can add there, that's probably enough. And also OBS, so I'll pin that to the panel as well while I'm recording. So you can see we've made a few significant changes there. Now that there's another thing, the logo here. Uh, what I'm going to do, now with logos, I'm going to change the user logo, which is the one up here, when this one here, when you first click that. And we'll also have a look at changing the the icon for the start menu as well. So if we right click the start menu and configure, go to panel. Now I'll just show you that within my file system I make little hidden folders. Now my hidden folder there is dot start menu. So anything with the start menu is I've saved from the internet under there and dot user logo. So I've given myself a few options there. So that's how I know how to find them without without messing up my desktop. Keeps everything nice and hidden. So we go to Start Menu. We'll use this Windows logo. So that looks pretty cool. And we will also go to System Settings. Users and Groups. Put in our password. Click on our name, click on the picture, 
browse for more photos I'm going to go for user logo which is where I keep mine dot user logo I'm going to choose that one that looks good so we're making a bit of a Windows ish Windows 10 ish desktop here just for the look now the only thing that this configuration layout doesn't save is the background backgrounds are very easy to change so it's no huge big deal so we'll change our background anyway just to give it that Windows 10 ish look and we'll go for that one there that looks good so now what we do is we go to system settings we go to themes save the current layout now I think I already have one saved so I'm going to save this as something else I'm going to call it Coles Win 10 dash 1 because I've already got one name Win 10 so the theme layout was saved so what we're going to do now is totally destroy what we've just done we're going to totally undo all that all those changes put oh sorry I should have been in the themer busy talking so we go to the themer put it back on ferrant OS light default so as you can see all our changes have been undone desktop background didn't change we could also go into themer and choose something else if we wish Windows 8 change it to blue Windows 8 I've got several instances of Thema opened here close a couple so you can see that's all the Windows that's what Windows 8 looks like so it looks pretty cool so we'll go back to Thema no we won't uh, we've done that we shall go back to system settings which we we're already in so now I've got two open close one of them go back to themes load saved layout and theme config now under this window here it'll tell you the name of the configurations you have I've saved two already so I'll load so just type in the name that you've given it 10-1 for this one my other one's very similar so we'll load that up and that's been loaded so there we go we have all the changes that we made OBS by default you've got all save terminal save text editor everything's been saved including the Windows icon and the user logo that is quite a nice little feature I must say for Winda, for Ferran OS that's very good you've got your expo there and you've got your scale as well great little feature so now if you want to know where they've been saved in your home folder here you have the dot Ferran dash layout backups and if you don't like the layouts and you don't you don't want them there anymore just move it to trash or delete move to trash or delete and it'll be gone and you can save it as a different name you can actually rename that I have renamed them and tried it again and it still works as long as you type the correct name in and the correct name oops and the correct name uh, will come up once you've changed it so that's a nice little feature there from Ferran OS so thanks for joining me